Even if you don't know much about Muay Thai, everybody knows who JW is here in Queensland, and they know him right around the world, the gunslinger. With his lovely wife, Angela, ringside, daughter, Jasmine. And the support of an entire nation behind him here tonight, JW. It is our main event, folks. Five by three minute rounds between the triple WMC world champion, One Lop, and the S1 and Kings champion, right, JW. Third man in centering the Murph, and the time for talk is over. Outside thigh kick, Wayne Parr in the black trunks and gold. One Lop in the white and blue. Both men are orthodox fighters. And as the hammer said, a victory here for Wayne Parr tonight will be the perfect lead up to a date with destiny. The show's called Destiny. 28th of July at the Penrith Panthers in Sydney, courtesy of Gem Out Promotions. Check out International Kickboxer Magazine, that one in a couple of weeks' time. They don't come too much better, folks, than One Lop Sipolek. 189 fights, 134 wins from the Sipolek gym in Thailand. Frank Sipolek in his corner. And gee, they sure don't give Wayne Parr any easy fights. When you think of the fights he's had over the last few months from Preacher late last year to Yodson Klai to One Lop here tonight. He just keeps on taking on the big challenges to JW. Nice uppercut off the right hand from the Aussie. Nice uh, scoring combo from uh, JW. One Lop just nods and he's a, he's a tough boy, One Lop Sipolek. Yet again, uh, a big uh, congratulations and a big mention to the BLF. Queensland BLF for uh, their efforts in this uh, this great event, this uh, great corporate stellar event, Convention Centre. It's come up a treat and is uh, truly showcasing all the fighting uh, disciplines. The BLF and of course Evolution working in sync. Both men being separated in centre ring. Shane W showing his wares with the hands here in the opening round and a good round kick to the rib cage of one lop sit leg. Jab from one lop outside thigh kick from the tie. No doubt that JW these days is the most oh. popular kickboxer Muay Thai fighter in all of Australia. Uh, bye, bye, bye. The mantle once held by Stan the Man Longanides. Oh. And later by Ian Jacobs. It's now held proudly by JW. No one else even comes close, Hammer. Well, I think he's, uh, he's a, a true gentleman in and uh, outside of the ring. Definitely outside of the ring. As, uh, as we saw at that uh, Melbourne seminar that I hosted. And, uh, 150 odd uh, participants and uh, spectators come down and he was uh, nothing more than uh, an absolute hit was JW. And a big thank you to everyone that supported that, all the gyms and uh, instructors and of course those students that come along. Wild right hand there from JW into the first round of action. We get at the towels, Hammer. How did you see it? I'll give that first round to JW. I think one lop was uh, sitting definitely on the back leg. JW landed uh, some nice hand combinations. Chopped a couple of leg kicks in, so uh, I'll give that first round to JW. 
Oh, we are ready to rock and roll. Second round of five, our main event fight for a cause from the Brisbane Convention Centre. The voice and the hammer with you, folks. Outside thigh kick from JW, John Wayne Parr doubles up on it there. Cracks away for a third time to the lead thigh of one lop sip leg. Snapping front kick from one lop off the lead leg. We'll score this one down as we go. So the hammer's got the unofficial scorecard working. Well, as is customary. As is customary. We'll let you know <laughs> what it is at the end of every round. Grab a bit of paper. Do it yourself at home. Big load of George. George. Versus yeah. the judges. <laughs> versus the judges. <laughs> High right round kick there from one lock. <laughs> Classic old school. <laughs> Ooh, nice inside fire kick from JW. Fires off the right Ooh. hand. Looking for the big tub right, thumper right, right. to make one lock do a quick count of his teeth. Oh. Body shot from JW. He is on the offensive here, the Aussie. Stinging right hand from one lop. Nicely done from the tie. Nice combo, one lop, and uh, he's got a lot of aggression as well. Matching it nicely, one lop. Bird's eye view. Outside thigh kick from JW just above the left knee to that and again, tender chopping. quadricep area. Nice couple of uh, chopping leg kicks from uh, the gunslinger. All tied up. Ooh, down. One lock, nicely done, Hammer. Have a look at just the hip talk there, taking JW down. Nice twisting takedown, and he's got uh, good skills in the grapple as a uh, one lock. Leg kick, uh, round kick rather to the rib cage. High check there from one lock. JW one. fires the right hand. One lock uh, is going into defensive mode as he did against the preacher. Just sat on the ropes and used the push kick. And that uh, really is uh, the ultimate counter fighter. Is a uh, one lop sipelect this tie? KG veteran he is at that. JW round kick, follow up front kick, nicely done. This is a solid fight so far from Wayne Parr. Gets out of the way of the round kick, good evasion there from the gunslinger. Short right hook to the side of the jaw from Jay Dumbia. On the front foot again, the Aussie cracks away to the outside left thigh. Yeah, One lock ties bye. him up. And referee, oh. the Murph, just separating both men. The weird haircut happening here tonight, the Murph hammer. <laughs> the backward mohawk. Love the Murph. Big leg kick there from Jay Dumbia. Forearm guard against the round kick of One Lock, not scoring for the tie. Just throws oh. JW to the canvas. Frank ah. Sipilek shouting instructions to one lop over in the blue corner. And JW heads back to the red corner. We go to the Hammers, an official scorecard. Well, I think uh, JW landed some good shots, some good clean shots. One lop, you've got to score the takedowns. He landed one great effective takedown. They give that uh, second round even. That's uh, the takedown I'm talking about. One lot uh, in the grapple was very strong indeed, but at range, <laughs> it was par that uh, worked uh, go, seconds out. the rangey shots and landed some good score. So uh, it was the scoring oh. shots at range versus the tied in grappling, and that, that evened out that round on my scorecard. OK, unofficially then after two rounds, the Hammer giving the first to Wayne Parr, the second a draw. Spinning back elbow from one lot, but here comes Parr with a big right uppercut! Wayne Parr's opened up like a house on fire! Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Parr came absolutely charging out of the corner! They were like two Mack trucks colliding on a freeway! And what a start to this round, round three of five! Wayne Parr launching the heavy wait, artillery, wait, wait, wait. and wait, we're wait, only wait. 35 seconds into the round. Oh. Parr has certainly been the aggressor. Body shots connecting there for Parr, getting underneath the elbows of Sipilek. Nice four-punch combo and the uppercut. One lop tries to fire back. Oh, a nice corking leg kick there from one lop Sipilek. Parr just flicks the front kick. Double check on the low kick there from one lop. Good combination work from one lop, but Parr backs him up with that solid right hand. The Murph steps in and breaks them. One minute ten down here in the third round. 
Both men have certainly up oh. the aggressor meter here in the third. Outside thigh kick from one lock. Nice body shot knee from par though, Michael, before the body before the kick. Score it down. Oh, he got airborne on the jumping right round kick the JW. This is an intriguing battle. The main event we hoped for. Inside thigh kick from one lop. Outside thigh kick to the lead leg from JW. Checks the inside thigh kick there to JW. He wants to fire off that trigger happy right hand and he gets it with the uppercut, the high knee. Good work from Wayne Parr. One lop. Thought maybe about the uppercut elbow. Parr throws it off the right hand. Crossing elbow, looking for the headache maker. Wants to put the money box on the forehead of one lock. Finds out the upper gut. Mate, 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 mate. All tied up and one lock. Got to pay attention to the Murph's instructions here. The Murph calling break a few times then. Snappy jab, long reach on it from JW. He's got that right hand cocked and ready to go again, the Aussie. Crossing elbow from one lock. Left hook, straight right hand, but JW checks the low kick hammer. Well, one lot, but starting to find his groove now. Par getting caught. He needs to get busier and go with one lot. Of course, every time you get a shot on you, you've got to put it straight back. Par finishes. One lot finished strong in that round. Well, Hammer, I reckon it's a hard one to call. It's a hard one to call. You could go, you could go even. And in fact, I might just go even again in that round. I think Par landed some good shots at range, started the round well, but one lot finished. Finished strongly with a, a nice, tidy combo. And it depends how the judges, of course, see it as we tick down. Par, a lot of aggression. You've got to score aggression, but one lot, but as I said, finished with a good combo right at the end there. And, uh, let's play devil's advocate and uh, give it an even round. And pass early in a bit of trouble there. That leg attack from one lot caught him just on the, and above the knee joint. And uh, Par was in all sorts of bother. Maybe even give that round to one lot. Even or one lot. Okay, here we go. Fourth round of five. The voice Michael Chavello and Mark the Hammer Castanini. Hammer gave the first round par, the second round even, and the third round just the way of one lop. We've got a dead even contest so far here in the penultimate round. Good high check there from JW. Goes to the body and rips in a short right uppercut, tucking it under the chin of one lop. They tango and Fox trot against the ropes and the Murph separates them. Good high check again from JW. Nice right hand from Wayne Parr. Tried for the step up knee. Mike, 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 Mike. Hasn't been a lot of clinching and grappling in it so far. Is that high check again from Wayne Parr? Well, I think one lot, but uh, it's feeling like he may have uh, injured that lead thigh of, uh, of Mike, Parr. Mike, Mike, He's Mike. going after Mike, Mike. it. Parr's cottoned on to that and is uh, just working that leg check nicely. Outside thigh kick, as the hammer said, one lop looking for maybe that sweet spot on the quadricep area. The left leg of JW. Nice Tried for the overhand elbow, did one lop. But Parra getting a right hand in. Body shot then to the head from JW. Okay, break, 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 break. All tied up like a pretzel. The Murph calls break. Well, no doubt one lop's very strong in the grapple. And uh, uh, as soon as uh, one lock throws a grapple on, he locks down. One minute 40 down here in the fourth round. A minute 20 remaining. Outside thigh kick again there from one lock. Outside thigh kick from Parr. Doubles up on it off the right leg, does JW. And again, one lock continues to crack away to that lead thigh. It's taken more chops than a leg of lamb, that lead thigh of Wayne Parr, and again, one lock going for it, Hammer. Well, he keeps uh, peppering away. Parr gets one back of his own. Measuring, measuring. Defence from uh, one lock. You can only imagine the power of shin on quadricep or shin on shin. Bare 
bone, unprotected, unpadded, and Wayne Parr now opens up with the handiwork. Turning back kick from Parr. Well, it's like walking into a tow bar. If you've ever done it, <laughs> that's what it's like shin on shin. 25 seconds remaining here in the fourth round of five of our main event, Fight for a Cause. Cause is prostate cancer. And this is a ripper main event. One lump just smiling at JW, who leads in with a big left hand. All tied up, and one lump leaning his body weight down just in the gate. JW trying to throw any knees. Oh, spinning elbow there from JW. Didn't connect for him. Certainly an exciting technique. Hammer, one more round to go. Who did you give that one to? I'm going to go even on that one. So uh, it was a it was good, uh, even affair. One lock got some back, maybe just the way of par. He tried for the uh, the spinning elbow, spinning back fist, but uh, probably didn't do uh, enough in that round to dominate. Totally par, landed some good shots. But uh, I'm going to go even, so we'll give it even. Last round they gave to one lock, round before that even, and the first round to par. So it's dead even, and it's down to the fifth and final. They open up in the fifth. OK, here we go. Up again from Wayne Parr. The hands have certainly been the better weapons for Wayne Parr. Both men have trained in thunderous oh, leg kicks, and have a look go. at that. Kick for kick here. Here we go. Good work rate from Parr. One lock fires back. They are pulling out goes. all the stops. Four punch combination from JW. Ha is not relenting. Inside thigh kick, then the front kick to the midsection. Checks the low kick from one lock. Straight jab from Pa. Then to the body and the uppercut off the right hand. Well, whatever way you cut it, Michael, it's going to be make for a very interesting affair against Preacher. Similar efforts against one lock from Pa and Preacher. And the showdown is definitely locked on. Wayne Parr certainly bringing it home strongly here in the fifth and final. Knee guard from Parr. Inside flying kick from one lock. Parr edges forward. He's got that thunderous right hand. The big bok choy is cocked and ready for action. Outside thigh yeah. kick, but one lop just raises the shin to check it. Well, this... Oh, there's a straight right hand! This is a real chess game, this one, a real arm wrestle. Wow, that right hand was smack bang on the kisser. The follow-up elbow didn't connect for JW. Short, taggy right hand to the side of the jaw there. We're moving into the final stages here of the final round. It is still oh. in the taking overhand elbow! Looking for the gash maker, the Queensland souvenir. The uppercut from Parr, double jab outside, thigh kick from one lock. Well, it's the fifth and final, and uh, I've got it even. The winner of this round will be the winner of the bout on my scorecard, unofficially, of course. Who's still got the petrol left in the tank? Who's still got the pepper to keep it going here? And one lock just up ending Wayne Park in the red corner. Trying to get the hook off oh. Parr and the nice uppercut again. Rocks the head back at one lock. Here comes Parr! JW on a roll now with the handiwork. Well, one lock wearing more leather than the village people in that exchange. The crowd rallying behind the local superstar, JW. All tied up and the move separates them. JW has brought this one home a treat here in the final round. He has been the busier. He's been the aggressor, and he's landed the better shots. Jumping round kick from JW. Oh, Hammer. I've taken my voice beyond the threshold of pain on this one. Well, but it has been worth it. It's a real nail by the edge of the seat stuff. There it is, fifth and final round. Wow. Five rounds of Muay Thai action, a fitting main event. The team from Sipolate Gym think they've got it. Wayne Parr's corner think they've got it. And Hammer, who do you think's got it? Well, uh, there is Wayne Parr in the corner. He's confident. I'll give him the first round. Second round, I gave a draw. Third round, maybe just the way of one lot. Fourth round, another drawn round on my scorecard. And the fifth round, I'll go the way of JW Parr. 
especially uh, with a rapid fire hand combos early in the in the round. That was the best thing one lock did all round. The catch and uh, and sweep out. But uh, apart from that, it was all par. And uh, good defence from one lock. He's a great counter fighter. But uh, I'll give it to the Aussie. Have a look at that. Four punches landing cleanly on one lock. We'll go to the judges and let's see how they scored it. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' decision is in. A split points decision. It's a close one. To the blue corner. Oh, what do you have to do, Wayne Parr, to win a fight in Queensland? Well, dejection for Parr. We thought he had it after a stellar final round. Mumbler points Parr in the air. He, he gets the victory the tie. Good respect from one lump Simbalek.